one of the reasons the, for the destruction of the Scottish, the original Scottish forests was the, uh, the, 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 the rebels, the mossers and wolves. And they were kind of either Jacobites or they were brigands and the wolves are the wolves, and people were so terrified of wolves, and the authorities were so terrified of these other uh, sort of human, human dangers living in the forest that they decided to not only cut them down, but also to burn them out. And it's something you can see that still has an impact on the Scottish landscape today, the lack of forests in, in the Highlands. The idea was to create something quite mysterious as well that could be looked into and had a huge amount of detail in it. And the, the detail in this work is kind of, to a degree, microscopic because the, the background of the, of the, the work um, has got minute uh, crystals of salt growing onto the surfaces. The surface of the entire work is wax, um, but that said, the substance of the, the, the work is heather itself, just the roots and twigs of heather, and you know, they effectively are wood. And um, the process was, was simply embedding the, the, the t twigs in the surface and then actually coating them w with wax. The work's more to do with the symbolic power of the, the tree, the, the stability, the, the growth change. And I also see it, you know, sort of reflecting a kind of diversity within Scottish culture itself. I, I, I don't think it has one meaning. And I also like the idea that, that, that basically the work has a three-dimensional quality. It has a physicality. I like the idea that <clears throat> it's covered in glass and the glass is reflective. In other words, people see themselves reflected in the glass. Sometimes it's difficult to see. They see the, the work through another medium, as it were. Um, the colour is, is something that um, comes from other works I've done as well. I've worked with these strong sort of juxtapositions of colours. Um, I mean, when you use black, you can immediately associate, uh, it throws up association of darkness and night and um, the time of mystery. And red is very visceral. I mean, it's to do with um, blood and, and the energies of life. Um, so. It, the, the, these polarities are something that interests me deeply. Again, it's really trying to make something that has meaning beyond the, the, the mere facts of it.